Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install this Kit PvP plugin on your server and set it up. So, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing that you need to do is install the plugin on the server. So, you'll need to you'll need the server to be running Spigot or Craft Bucket first before you do this. So, go ahead and change that if you haven't already. And then once you've done that, go to the plugins tab on the left-hand side. Click the Spigot Plugins tab and then search for Kit PvP. And it should be one of the first ones that comes up. Please note that the one I'm installing is the one that has FFA, 1 verse 1 in brackets. And other plugins may be set up differently. So click Install Latest. And it is recommended that you have some other plugins such as um, World Editor and Essentials installed so that you can run the server and set the plugin up without any problems. So once you've installed the plugin, restart the server and that should load the plugin up with the configuration files. So now that we've done that, we can head straight in game and start setting it up. So once we're in game, we can start setting up the plugin. You'll want to load up a world with an arena and lobby so that the plugin works. So once you've done that, we can get started. So the first thing you need to do is check the plugin's actually working. So if you type slash kit PVP help, as long as some commands come up here, you can see that it's loaded and working successfully. So once you've verified that, we can start setting up um, the arena. So the first thing you want to do is forward slash kit PVP or slash KP for short, set lobby. And this will set the lobby. So when they join kit PVP, this is where they'll spawn. Then once you've done that, you'll want to set up one of the two game modes. So the first one is the free-for-all game mode, so you're going to set up a spawn point for it. So I'm just going to set it in the middle of the map here with slash KP FFA set spawn. And then once you've done that, you'll need to set the spawn points for the one versus one game mode. So I'm going to set one on either side of the map. So one over here with the slash with the command slash KP one verse one add spawn. And then we're going to go set the second spawn on the other side of the map. So we'll just go over here and then we'll type slash KP one verse one add spawn and that'll add the second spawn for the one verse one arena. So once you've done that, you can type slash KP one verse one save arena and this will save the arena and you can also do the um, you can also remove the arena with slash kit PVP remove arena and then the ID. So in this case, the ID is zero. So here you can see when we set the spawn points, the ID is zero and the spawn the number after it is the number of spawn point. So once you've done that, we can go back to the lobby area and we can start adding signs. So if you just give yourself a sign. Um, and then you can place a sign and the first sign we're going to add is so they can join the free-for-all arena so um, bracket kpvp close bracket and then ffa and then that all should spawn a sign similar to this and then we're going to do it for the one verse one slow bracket kit, kit pvp close the bracket one verse one and then there's the one for the one verse one and we'll also need one so they can leave kit pvp so slash we brackets kit pvp again we would leave and then there you go, so you can they can join um, with things like that. So once we've done that, we'll need to set up a sign so they can actually join Kit PvP. So usually this can be done on a hub server or in a hub world, but I'm just going to do it back here as I don't have one of them. So we're just going to place a sign here that will say in brackets Kit PvP and then join underneath. Then once you've created all these signs, including the join sign, you'll need to restart the server so that it works correctly, otherwise it can sometimes bring up errors. So let's just go ahead and restart the server. And then we'll be back with you once we're back on the server when it started up. So now that we're back in the game after the server's restarted, you should be able to play Kit PvP without any problems. So if we join the arena by right clicking this sign that we set up, and then we'll need to select a kit. So down here you've got challenge, which you can challenge other people with the sword. Um, a piece of paper which if you right click opens up a GUI which is very nice where you can select multiple kits that are pre-configured for you. So I'm just going to select this warrior kit. So now if I join the free for all or the one verse one, you'll spawn in with the kit. So there you go. So I'm now playing and if there was other people in the game I'd be able to start attacking them and so on. So then once you, if you want to leave the arena you can just type slash KP leave and then that will send you back to the lobby. So if we join back again just to take another look you'll be able to join one verse one and you'll be put in a queue um, and you can leave the queue by right clicking again and then you can leave the arena with this sign. 
So that's how you set up this very basic kit PvP plugin. Um, and then let's go ahead and take a look at the configuration files that are available um, so that we can take a look behind the scenes. So once you're back on the control panel, we can take a look at the configuration files for the kit PvP plugin. So if you go to the file manager, which is on the left hand side, and then open the plugins folder, and then open the UKIT PVP folder. And then here are the three configuration files for the plugin. So if you take a look at the config.yml first, you can just, there are a few options here where you can disable or enable and change a couple of settings. So at the top, you can see you can disable certain things like item drop. So if you don't want a player to drop any items when they die, you can change that to false. Uh, but I'm just gonna leave these as is and it's pretty self-explanatory. And then underneath this is the max in-game players. So in the arena, you have a maximum amount of players that can be there at any one time. So at, by default, this is 50, but if you only want 10 people playing at a time, you can change this to 10. So you just change that to 10 and then save the file. And then down here are some more complicated things that you don't really need to look at unless you've got a Bungie Core network um, or a MySQL database set up, but we're not going through that in this tutorial. So once you've made the changes, save the file. And then we can take a look at the next file, which is kits.yml. So we'll open that. And here you're simply enabling or um, disabling certain kits within the game. So say if you didn't want the scorpion kit to be available, you just change that to false and then save the file and then you'll no longer be able to use the scorpion kit. You can't actually change what's in the kits at the moment, um, but you can disable or enable which ones are available. So if you go back and then we take a look at this messages.yml, this is basically what all the messages are in game. So for example, if you don't have permission to use a command um, for the plugin, you can change this to, um, I don't know, please don't use that command. And then that will come up instead of no permission. So you can change this um, to whatever you like and you can also change it for different languages and so on. So once you've made all the changes you want to make, click save. And now that we've edited all three, you'll need to restart the server. So that's how you configure the plugin on the file side. So that's how you set up this very basic kit PVP plugin. If you have any problems, feel free to contact our support and feel free to watch any of our other tutorials as they may be of help to you. So thank you for watching. Have a great day and goodbye.